Hey, what is up you guys? I am about to go inside TJ Maxx. Uh, the last time I was here, the girl in there told me that they get three shipments a week and that their biggest shipment is on Friday. So today is Friday, May 21st, yes, and usually I do not record, edit, upload a video the same day, but I am going to do that today just because I wanted to take y'all along with me when I actually go inside the store. So today I'm going to be going inside TJ Maxx, recording, editing, and uploading the video all in the same day, and that is a lot with my three kids, let me tell you, but no worries, I am going to get her done. I do want to see what is in here. And also, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I do upload brand new videos three times a week. If you like this kind of content, I also do all things beautiful, hair, nails, makeup, get ready with me, get unready with me, shop with me. If you do like that kind of content, please consider subscribing because you will not be disappointed. And that is it for now. I will see you on the inside of this TJ Maxx. So I am now walking in TJ Maxx, you guys. Okay, so I don't normally do a voiceover, especially when I do a shop with me, but it is so loud in this TJ Maxx. They keep hollering things over the intercom and for a price checks. And I think everybody literally brought their kids in the store today. And with my mask on, I started talking. I couldn't even hear myself. So with that being said, we're going to do this voiceover. You can see that they do have some NARS, some MAC some Lorac lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, traditional lipsticks. Right here, I'm trying to see how much this is. It is $6.99. They do have some more NARS traditional lipsticks right here for $7.99. They have some MAC. They have some Becca, which I was surprised to see. And that is for $5.99 right there. They had a whole line of Becca right here. And they are all $5.99. They look like very hot pink or red lipsticks. And these Marc Jacobs right here concealers. I was trying to see the price. But they were all in deep shades. So none were in my skin tone. So I just passed on all that. They do have some Clinique right here for $7.99. They also have this Buxom Lip Topper, which I thought was actually really cute. I do already own one at home, not this shade though, and it was for $6.99. Also, they do have some more Stila down here. This is the Stay All Day, but as you can see, it's a really bright corally color. It is $4.99. They also do have another one right here for $4.99. They do have some lip gloss, some Paw Paw. They did have this Bare Minerals Lip Balm Duo set. And I think this was for $12.99 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, $12.99 right there. And then moving on, some more lip balms, some more ABH. And then on this side, we have a lot of the Beauty Blender foundations, which I have been seeing a lot of in almost every TJ Maxx that I've been in, which has been like three or four different ones so they do have some this is a Kat Von D and it says liquid to powder foundation but it is in deep and it's for $9.99 so not my shade and down here they do have some Becca they did have some of this it says limited edition collection powder for $10 $9.99 they also had some Sephora Clear and Cover. This is like a blemish control. And it was for $3.99, which I thought was actually pretty freaking cheap. Um, they do have this Becca Mineral Blush. And this was for $9.99. They do have some more Laura Mercier back in the back. And then right here, some ABH Liquid Glow. And this is for also $4.99, which is fantastic price. I mean... This stuff is cheaper than drugstore. I know I've said that in other TJ Maxx videos, but it's just the truth. It's literally cheaper than drugstore. And they have this cute little mascara duo for $14.99 from Stila. 
it says it's a huge extreme lash xxx duo they do have some more of the abh here and then down here they do have some more becca mineral blush and then behind that they have some more of the powder and it is i was trying to find the color i couldn't see any color but it was for 9.99 I didn't see any color on here so I'm not sure if this was translucent or anything like that but it was a loose setting powder and then the same thing here it says this one is a matte radiance baked powder so a little bit different than the one we just had but it is also $9.99 and then they have some honest beauty here illuminizing glow powder they have some more Honest Beauty right here. This is a Magic Blur Stick for $3.99, which is pretty good. They had one Marc Jacobs foundation. It is $16.99. And these Marc Jacobs foundation, I think, are like $50 or more. So if you can find one, especially in your shade, I would absolutely pick it up for $16.99 because that's just a steal. They do have some NARS blush. They do have Becca right there. I found some more MAC lipsticks. That is a Bare Minerals blush right there. It looks very pretty. The packaging is very pretty. And then in this corner right here was all milk products. This is, this is a Lush Lash Primer. That is like a mouthful to say. They do have some glitter lip topper for only $2.99, which is actually freaking fantastic. And all this whole corner right here is just milk products. And here is some more milk right there, as you can see, for $9.99. And that was, all those were like deep shades, but that is foundation. And down here are just the eyeshadow palettes. I was really eyeballing this I Love Avocado because it, the packaging is just so cute. And I swear, you guys, I am such a sucker for that. And it, I did end up getting one. It was super cheap. It was like... $6.99 I think and on Ulta.com I remember it being like $14.99 or something like that and I heard that these are super pigmented so I did end up getting it and yeah you can see right there $6.99 super cute and actually the packaging the avocado is like rubber it's really cute up here I was very shocked to see some MAC but it looked like highlighter to me but it said it was illuminating powder but I think it's a highlighter it was $14.99 and I saw this actually on Nordstrom, this um, exact same powder here for $45. So that was a steal. They had some e.l.f. and they did have three of these. So they are the exact same color. And they are all $14.99. It is a pretty gold champagne color, but I did pass on it just because I have two full drawers of straight highlighters. I honestly don't need any more. They do have some honest blush right there. It, they do look like more fall colors to me, but there are some more beauty blender foundations right there. There is a Laura Mercier palette for $29. It looks very neutral. It's pretty, but I have a lot of neutral palettes, so I'm going to pass on that also. I do keep going back to that avocado palette, but like I said, I did end up getting it. Just trying to see what else they have. They never have any of this Beauty Blender foundation in my shade. These are all too dark. And then they do have the lightest shade, which is like very extreme white. So there is this Becca Sunsetter for $19.99. I think that is a bronzer and three highlighters. They have some Profusion Chestnut Palette right here for only $5. Like I am crazy with these. It just amazes me. I get crazy in here with the, the prices of this stuff. There's a Marc Jacobs Little Kit, a MAC lipstick. And this right here is a blush bronzer little palette. They have some more right here of this Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is loose pigment. I saw this in another TJ Maxx. And I'm not sure of the price because this one was actually ripped off. So just moving over, there is some more NARS right here for $5.99. There is some liquid lipstick right there and a whole roll of Stila for only $5.99. And then just some regular drugstore stuff down there. 
nothing too crazy I did find this little steel kit here which is really cute and it was super clearance because it's got the red tag on it for 12 bucks I also did end up getting that didn't really see anything else high-end usually when I go in TJ Maxx that's what I'm going for I'm going for high-end makeup because like I said this makeup in here is cheaper than if I would to go to CVS or Walgreens and get some regular drugstore makeup and it's high-end this stuff literally comes from Sephora so walking over here this is where they keep all the brushes it literally caught my eye they have changed it around in this specific TJ Maxx but these brushes you guys are so cute I was trying to see the prices and these little hooks that they have the brushes on are not easy to get these brush boxes off of so I'm not sure of the price but this little Japanese right here it's really cute and it says it's specifically for powder so it's only $4.99 you guys and I love Japanese brushes they are really good they don't shed they last for a long time they're really durable the handles are good quality so I did end up getting one of those this one here was funny shaped to me I don't know why I'm just picky in the store so I did get a the one behind it but I was really intrigued by these really cute like cosmetic spinners right here they had a lot of pink as you can see and one white I did end up getting the white one it was super cute and I figured I could keep my brushes in those on my vanity because I'm always going back on to my other table to get stuff so this is the brush that I did end up getting right there it's just really cute and it's nice and rounded but not too rounded for powder they also did have that kabuki brush right there was $3.99 and then they have loads and loads of other brushes and cute little makeup bags right here which I honestly don't need I have too many at home already and I'm not even going anywhere they have this little brush set here and it came with a brush holder which I thought was really cute for $10 $9.99 and then they had one behind it but I like the holder of the black one and then they had a little cute brush set here and this one was also $6.99 and I was trying to see the brushes underneath there they're more of eyeshadow brushes but I honestly don't need any more of those so just checking through the rest of the Japanese brushes and like I said I didn't end up getting this dual powder brush they do have some really pink candle brushes right there and also I found some NARS brushes which I was super shocked to see in here and it was $24.99 these brushes are normally $40. They did have some Sigma brush brushes also for $6.99 up to $10.99 just depending on which brush. You can see right there, Sigma. I was trying to see. They only had three and the three that they had, I don't know honestly what I would use it for. So I just passed up on that. But they did have a equal to set right there. But I think that's it you guys. I think I'm going to wrap up this video because I'm not seeing anything else that I wanted in the store today.